Ahead of the election, each of the parties included a promise to address Indigenous issues as part of the platform. This election saw a record number of Indigenous candidates running. The makeup of Parliament hasn't changed, but could there be more attention paid to Indigenous issues in the upcoming session? Joining us, the Chief of the Assembly of First Nations, Roseanne Archibald. She joins me from Victoria, BC, and great to have you on, Chief. Thank you very much for your time. Let me get your take on what we saw happen as history unfolded last night with yet another minority government. To me, it spoke to uh, the need for stability during the pandemic. Uh, that Canadians uh, did not want anything significantly changed. Uh, so we are in status quo in terms of how we went into this election and how we're coming out. The only thing that I think could have been done better are addressing First Nation and Indigenous issues. Uh, our internal polling showed that the majority of Canadians wanted to know what each of these parties was going to do to address truth and reconciliation. And it wasn't discussed enough. And I think if it had been discussed a little bit more, uh, maybe, you know, the it could have influenced a, a little more of who would have been in a majority in this government. And is it, you know, even more of a surprise, given the fact that it has been such a horrible year with the discovery of more than a thousand unmarked graves and the discussion around that, um, as, as well as the, you know, murdered missing women inquiry? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, the issue around the recovery of our little children and the fact that it points to and proves what we have said all along, which is that genocide occurred here in Canada, and our children were the target of that. And, and certainly going into an election with that issue, um, people wanted to know what the governments were or what these parties were going to do to begin to address that. And they just didn't hear enough of it. And as far as I'm concerned, we could have had a better discussion on First Nation and Indigenous issues. We called for an actual debate on it and uh, offered to host it at the last moment. We just couldn't get these parties to agree. And I think Canadians really want the truth and reconciliation process to be accelerated. They want to see significant changes. They want to see some basic things like uh, drinking water advisories, uh, you know, eliminated. They want to see what we want, which is equality and equity between First Nations and the rest of Canada. I mean, the disparities still exist, and I believe that Canadians are more and more in allyship with us in addressing some of these changes that need to happen to make uh, our lives, um, you know, better, our children's lives better. I said it many times during the campaign that a lot of these issues have, uh, they fall upon our children. You know, our children are the ones who are living in housing that isn't adequate. Our children are the ones attending mm. schools that are funded to the same level as non-Indigenous schools. You know, it's our children who are affected by government policy. And so in the next uh, 18 months or so, I'm not sure how long this government will stand still as a minority government. We're going to work with them. Um, you know, we see that they have been a willing partner, that they have made unprecedented investments into First Nations in their mandate since 2015. And I also think that a minority government really creates an opportunity for better cooperation among the parties so that we can begin mm. to advance these issues faster and better. Chief Archibald, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Take care, Beverly.